and it's down to the final crunch. It's the final. Johan Geldenace and Simon Adams. Absolutely incredible showcase by Kendrick Kordom. I'm a massive Adams fan, Je- uh, uh, Devin, but I'm mm. also equally so a massive uh, Kendrick fan. You know, beautiful story through the academy. Just a great journey, an incredible journey in the darts uh, uh, community. And um, I was hoping he'd make it through to that. But uh, Simon Adams, you know, equally so, really well deserved as well. I think generally b- the two finalists are, are deserved. Uh, both players are really playing well. Uh, both players have different stories, though. There was a, there was a little story coming out this morning that Johan Geldenis wasn't going to play today because there was a, a incident that, that, that kind of changed his mind. And the big thing was he was at the very, at the very point like going to withdraw. And then there was a convincing, I think it was Etienne Martin, our photographer, Pope. He changed his mind. And um, needless to say, I'm very disappointed that Pope changed his mind simply because I had to play. But other than that, I mean, this is the opportunity every single player plays for. It's the opportunity to have your chance on the stage. Cameron Carlson books his place from last year's ACT as the top uh, ranking player. And now we have the qualifier and both of these players, Simon Adams, most recent qualifier, winning the World Champ qualifier last year, doing it really well in the Motor yeah. Series, playing against Rapid Rick Evans. Probably not his greatest game, but his first experience, which is fantastic. Johan Gelden is really wanting to explore the opportunities of what the PDC has and everything else. Just and this is an opportunity. Just wanting to check. Um, oh, we got sound in the venue. I just want to check and they hear us there. I want to make sure we give a thunderous applause for these two finalists making their way to the hockey right now. A round of applause for Simon Adams and Johan Geldenes. Mios, thank you for still here. You all sleep and us is ready for the finals. Is you ready for the finals? We got the nine daughters. We got the nine daughters out of the way. We are about to go to the tournament director and take over and the game will start. The final will start. Devin also saw your showcase and performance earlier. Incredible stuff as well. You know, it's always great. And like we said yesterday, just such a humbling experience that this tournament and everything being just put together um, uh, by the craft of your hand as well with your team at, uh, at ADG. It's cool that we get to get to see you also uh, find yourself being obedient and disciplined at the hockey amongst those rules. So well done again. Um, here we are. I think it's uh, time to move to the tournament and we go back to the final. It's Johan Geldenes and Simon Adams. Big round of applause, folks. Tournament director, over to you. Johan Kelden is winning the bullseye off the, the, the big board and having the opportunity to be first to the hockey. It's a strong, strong approach for Kelden. He's played really well in the previous game. Simon Adams needing to claw back against Kendrick. Just Kendrick having a bounce out, which at the crucial time just challenged him. But now we see... It's the final. Simon with loads of experience, but Johan Helden is equally up to the task with loads of ability and, and talent and being a player that has been um, on the ups for a long while. I've seen I've seen Johan play really well in the in the in the Western Province um, Darts Association. A strong player now resides in Hansby, land of the great white. Johan's strongest point is his first start. Once he lands that and he switch on the treble 19, so he'll feel fairly comfortable. But remember, it's a first or eight, so it's this is slightly a marathon for both players. Simon previously coming through a qualifier like this uh, last year and finding himself in the World Championships. He'll be looking to make it uh, back-to-back international qualifications. 
Simon slightly far back, and Johan now leaving himself on a hundred. Both players just light jabs, finding the distance, making sure that um, just making sure that they they settle in. After 18, Johan Geldenes has left 16. Simon Adams on the dance floor, but surely can't hear the music with 187 left. Still slightly too far, and you would expect with three darts in hand, Johan Geldenes to mop this one up. And comfortably hold his throw, but last dart in hand, and all darts tight on the... And, and now Simon has a... An almost small opening, and he's not taking advantage of it, but he needs to leave it handy and hope that Johan actually misses. And he, he, it's handy enough because that's a, a two singles, but does Johan, Johan does not make any mistake with a, with a double eight now. Johan holding his throw there with a, Steady dart. Simon not finding anything in that in that leg there, but as it is, it's only the first leg, and I'm sure that it's the it's the marathon experience that Simon has that will get him over. One hundred from Simon Adams, and this is the the strength in his in his in his scoring. And you know, Helden is yeah needs to find his focus. It's a big moment for both players and and both obviously South African simply because it's a South African Open. It's a South African qualifier. Yesterday we seen two Kenyans come through. Simon Gutura winning the ACT first event against Cameron Carlson. And then we've also seen Susan as well beating Liane in the women's series. So Kenyan dominating over the weekend. And now the commentary booth has just had an upgrade as we welcome Nicole, Nicole Alcock. Just um, adding some, uh, some beauty to this uh, beautiful uh, commentary box. Hello, Nicole. Hi, Devin. How's it going? No, fantastic. Listen, um, applauded to you and your team as well for um, doing everything and almost anything to host this event. You've um, you've seen some quality players so far. We've uh, we've launched the the women series this weekend, and that has been your passion project for the longest period. And we finally got off the off the ground. How are yeah, you feeling about that? I'm really excited about it. Um, the amount of women that actually played. Um, also, the quality of darts, I think, was amazing. And, I mean, the finals itself, I mean, who would have expected another Kenyan to, to take the final, but she did a brilliant job. Um, it just shows us that we, we you know, we, we need to nurture these women and, and their game. I mean, we've got future, future um, champions in our midst, and the more we, we host these competitions, I think we're going to find those diamonds in the rough. And so I'm very excited for the future, for the future of the women's series. Yeah, I think we're going to do a brilliant job. Yeah, and it's, it's amazing there. And, and as Nicole ended her statement on the women's series, we see in the first ton plus checkout there from Johan Gelden is 118. Simon Adams missing 26, having two pokes at it. Yeah, Johan said to me before the, the tournament started, Nicole, you see there, that's where I'm going to be on the stage. Mm. And I think he's done it twice now. <laughs> so he's, he's uh, kind of living his dream at the moment, but I think he's playing a fantastic game. To this weekend, he's played some excellent darts. I think a lot of the times people will look at averages and all of those things, which is, which is part and parcel of how you get measured as your, your level of, of darting ability. But... Especially in a final like this, this there's, there's a lot more at stake. So generally, there's more mistakes. There's, there's, there's a lot more tightening. There's a lot more pressure. And 
I think that Johan here, leading 2 0 now, mm. I feel as though he's got the strength, but Simon has the experience. And that's why I'm so torn between exactly who I can side with for the win. Yeah, when I, when I saw Johan um, taking the lead and then also taking um, Simon's throw, I just thought, you know what? Simon has got that experience, he's got uh, the longevity of, of knowing what to do at, at the critical times. I just hope that uh, Johan is able to hold mm. the pace with him and then, you know, live his dream. Yeah, I think like with Simon, obviously living his dream last year at the World Championships, playing in the Moda Series, all of those added benefits and, and, and still a one of the, 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 show, the soldiers working hard to develop the sport and, and getting the inter-school league happening in Quebec. Fantastic so far. 22 schools, 200 and something kids is, is just doing fantastic. As we see, Johan Gelden is with a timely 180, but not just the 180 though. It's on 220, so that leaves him tops. And Simon Adams now looking at the game and looking at a 3-0 a three nil lead by Johan Gelden is... Yeah, I so think Simon done the same thing to Stefan van Mark last year, where he he beat the qualifier and he beat Stefan Mark some games to know. Yeah, yeah, no, look, I think I think uh, Johan is definitely playing a fantastic game. He's he's, he's he's got the stamina. I think he wants it. He's hungry. Mm. He's very hungry at the moment, and um, I think this is this is his dream. It's it's a realizing that what we're watching now, what we're seeing now, somebody will live their darting dream after once they get to the first eight. So you've got literally eight legs to live your darting dream. Obviously, all of the work, hard work, and all of those things. Yeah. It's 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 a it's an opportunity that the ADG repre, uh, presents as well as just hosting these events year in year out. I mean, you've you've traveled all around, and now this year you're going to be going to Kenya. As we see Simon here needing tops to get a reprieve and finds himself. Finds now 2-1. Um, what's it like traveling all the time and seeing different talents come through and players that you've not met and some play players that are repeat offenders? What's it like seeing these new talents come out because of ADG? I think what's more exciting for me is seeing the young talent. Um, yes, we've got the Simon Adams and we've got the, the old, you know, the, the older players that have no, come matured, through. matured, not oh, old. Oh, sorry, mature players that have come through the, the, the ranks for the many, many years. But what's more exciting for me is to see the youngsters. How, you know, you've got the, the, um, the Caleb, um, Caleb Cockrells, you've got the Johan Galdenaises, you've got the Kendrick Cordums. I mean, we always thought, you know, in, 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 in other structures, uh, the sport's going to die. But when you look at these youngsters now, you know there's talent coming up. We've got a future in darts. And I think African Dart Group and the, the, to the tournaments that we are hosting is giving them that opportunity to, to go overseas, to play, to make a dart, the darts a career. And I think they now see the potential and the opportunities. Whereas before, there was nothing. You'd play, you'd play for the trophy, maybe. Um, now, they're getting money towards, you know, um, the, you know. Everybody needs money. So, at the end of the day, I think it's... It's a beauty <laughs> thing. Uh, it's, yeah. um, uh, it's the exchange of time. It's, it's the remuneration. And players are now getting, getting their, 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 their worth. Yesterday, we played for a prize fund of 40000 Today, we have a, a to, de to be determined prize fund. But the winner over here gets a minimum of 2,500 pounds, which kind of works out to about 55,000 rand. So they're playing for 55,000 rand. They only paid 300 rand to enter, which is fantastic. I think, Nicole, you and your team are doing a fantastic job. You are definitely taking the sport to a next level and you're making dreams happen. How does that make you feel? Now that we have the Women's Series, you have the Inter-School, you have the ACTs, you have the ADS, making dreams happen. That, I think, is what keeps us going. 140 from Yuhan. I think that's what keeps me going, is seeing the, 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 the players' faces when they achieve something, when they actually go overseas, where they're doing something with darts. That, for me, is remuneration enough, because I know that we've actually made somebody, you know, um, possibly this is their career. This is what they can do. I mean, they've got families they need to support. And here we're able to just, by an appearance, get 50,000. I mean, that's, that's quite a nice sum for a day's work, eh? <laughs> it's not bad. I, I wouldn't mind it myself. And I did try, and Johan stopped me in my tracks. But like you say, it's, um, 
it's having that opportunity to give somebody something that they can never give you back and you've given them an opportunity so well done to you but back to the back to the real action now it's it's a final in your hand there just mm. missing out going going the outlandish way there yep. uh 18 double 18 and then 32 cyber now can make it a level game at two all Oh, it's and there you go. Great double. hold of throw. The Saint has done it again. <laughs> Simon Adams with a signature celebration. Nicole, you, you play some darts as well. And, and does that mean that uh, we're going to be seeing you compete in the women's series at some point? Or is it just administration for the best of it? I'd love to play darts again. It's just that it doesn't, oh, the, the amount of work that I've got at the moment doesn't allow me to. I uh, don't get much chance anymore, but hopefully in the women's series, you'll see me coming through. I think Bo Greaves needs to watch out. <laughs> Bo Greaves, you heard it here first. Nicole Alcock is coming for your titles. <laughs> she is a little lady, but packed with dynamite and explosive on the board. Uh, we look forward to that. It's, uh, it's been a great journey, and so far, it's, it's definitely, it's only the beginning and we see, we see and, I, and I mentioned this earlier in the production team, is that we're producing an opportunity for people to witness somebody's dream come through. Mm. Johanna has to switch here because yeah. those two guys was wobbling, but yeah. finds a 140. The, the beauty of, of, of the sport is, is that anybody can play it. Everybody's similar level. It's all inclusive. It's no gender boundaries, no anything, no height, no anything. And now you see those kind of opportunities mixed with prize fund and international opportunities. I mean, it's, it's really a no-brainer for anybody that does play darts. Absolutely. I mean, um, what I would like to see is a lot more uh, uh, female youngsters, um, uh, young girls come through the ranks because we've got um, Cassidy Haramse in, in Quebec. Fantastic player. She's beautiful. I mean, she's... I mean, unfortunately, she couldn't make it to this tournament. There Johan closes. She couldn't make it to this tournament, but what a talent. I can see that in the future she's going to be quite a, a contender on the dart circuit. Um, so I'd like to, you know, f f somehow we need to encourage more young girls to come and, and play the sport. And I know with what Simon is doing in Quebec, that's absolutely with the, with the school leagues and that. And I'm, I'm almost sure they're going to find even more talent in the, in the, in the youth. The school leagues now have been sponsored by SHOT and there's 15,000 prize money. That's four quarters. It's 3,000 rand for each quarter that they play for. Um, and then we have a all only, a girls only event, which is exactly speaking to the, the, the almost enticing more girls and women to, to, to actually take up the sport. And listen, your, your work has, has duly been noted and yeah, long may it continue. Thank you so much. Thanks, Devin. We'll chat again. Take care, Nicole. I mean, Nicole wants to get a front row seat as the director of uh, the ADG operations today. And actually always. But now we um, back to the action. Finals is 3-2. Johan Kjaldernes taking it away from, from Simon. And this has turned out to be a, a, a fight, though. Simon Leedy uh, needs to find two trebles and then we'll go back to a level game. First to eight. Both players have been playing for a while now and you'd expect them to, to, to flick up and, and flick on that switch. The Hans first dart just not being as powerful as it was previously. But finding that treble, his drop dart is... The drop to treble 19 is a fantastic, fantastic recovery shot. Phil Taylor synonymously known for his 57s, also his massive scoring and, 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 and great, great scoring power. But that 57s, oh my goodness. Simon, yeah, needs to find a 57 and a 19, but can your hands kind of just bully his way to the to the next leg as he finds a triple first there and now Simon Adams with a one two six opportunity and needs it he needs to find a triple and then the bullseye he's got the treble now he needs the bullseye for a one two six he finds the bullseye one two six finish Simon Adams make this a level game everybody throwing out punches here and Simon Adams exquisitely finding the bullseye with the last dart 
in hand. Your hand being spurred on now. It averages creeping up slightly closer to the 80 mark for your hand. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have your popcorn, I suggest you forget it. Because you don't want to blink and miss the action. It is happening here. Coming to you first from the African Darts Group YouTube channel. I'm witnessing a dream unfold for one of these players. Simon has represented himself on the on the PDC World Championship stage. Johan looking to have an opportunity to rep represent himself at the World Championship uh, as a World Cup stage. But so is Simon. Simon wants to make sure that he he takes advantage as we see a a rogue dart fall out there for for your hand your hand just finding his darts on the floor and simon now needing to to actually find a treble and it certainly seems like it's not going with throw even though we had level pegging, but it just seems like the game has ebbs and flows and highs and lows. Simon would now want to find at least a two treble visit. And as he finds the first dart, you want to go to the right side of that one. Slightly over the top here for the 140. Simon just managing a ton, but keeps him keeps him within touching distance. But what can you hand manage there? He'd need to switch. I would switch if I was him. What a 137, back to the treble 19. He's found some comfort and confidence in that treble 19. Finds himself first to the, to the double. Simon there, not board management at all. Now his last dart drops to the 19. Gives, gives Johan an opportunity here. Six starts at 78. He can just set it up and leave it nicely. We'll go to the left of that. It's no problem at all for Simon Adams. Slightly behind the eight ball with 170. Forty with three darts in hand. He's a need to get this. Easy, easy does it in two darts. With every leg, he steps one step closer. To realizing a lifelong dream of playing on the PDC stage. Who will it be? Johan Geldenes leading 4-3 all the way from Hans by Simon Adams from Kabeja. East London born. Johan has to find that 57. Oh, he goes 51. It's a, it's a sensible way. Doing the board management great. Simon Adams here wants to find three in the treble. He's got two so far. One to the right. He finds it all the way to the right. Simon Adams with a 180. Puts him in driver's seat for us. Just to hold throw, ladies and gentlemen. And I feel if it goes with throw from here on out, Johan Keldenes is certainly the favorite. But does Simon Adams have a spanner in the works for, for Johan? Can he go back to back? A uh, little wayward dart, but want to just rectify that. He does with a one, two, five, magical darts from Simon Adams. Now in a in a in a prime position, Johan has to keep his composure and just know that he has to find that small steps closer and closer. Just bring the score down. But Simon now on 111. He went for the treble treble 17 and now sits him up. Johan definitely. Too far back, so Simon will have a comfortable 60 to contend with. But how comfortable will it be that 19s Johan Keldenhaes? That has been his his strong point in his game. If he misses on top, but Simon Adams now two dots on the tops. And there's a rogue cough that happened. Simon Adams there just stepping back, composing himself with a beautiful ADG South African shirt. Now needs double tops. Needs double 10. Finds the double 10 with all distractions happening. He's right. He 
He's in the right moment. Both players now closing, edging closer to 80. Johan there finding only a 25 with a bounce out. And now this gives Simon Adams an opportunity to take advantage on the throw. As Johan has only managed the measly 25. But the 41 doesn't put too much stress. But that first start of uh, Johan sometimes just flapping out, meaning that it's not sitting steady in the board and means that the power is not correct. 57, Simon here would want to lick his lips and find two trebles, get himself edged forward in this game. Simon Adams finds the two trebles he needs and that 140 now sets him up. Driver's seat. How does Johan Geldenes respond? He needs to get a 140 of himself, but only finds an 85. Challenging, challenging game. Simon would look to the left side of that treble. That's perfect. And another dart would slide in there. Under pitch slightly, only getting a ton for his hard work on his second dart. The game is evenly poised near the end. Two bounce outs so far. Johan Kelden is he'll feel like he's throwing this 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 leg away. And it's a in crucial leg because it's his own throw. Simon will see the blood in the water and attack that red bit. 100 now, 120 left. It's important, important throw now from Johan. He needs to find a treble. He can't have a trebleless visit. And he only flicks it into the 18. It's the last dart. No treble at all. Simon now has time. He has treble 21st. And now he just needs to slide into the left side to have another 10 plus finish. And he does find it. Simon Adams now leading the throw, leading the game 5-4, stealing the throw, and it's his throw. Simon garnering all that experience. He is one of the very best. We've seen it on the Motor Series. We've seen it in the World Championships. And now we're seeing him on the ADG YouTube channel for the World Championship Qualifier. Simon is a great front runner. 135. 366. Now Johan has to fight. How much composer will he have? How much how much demons is he fighting within his mind? Because now he's, he's he was leading this game, was comfortable, few bounce outs. And then you're looking at an, an opportunity slip through your fingers. Simon now. So far, six darts thrown, four big trebles hit. And in cruise control. Johan Kaldanes finding no comfort on the treble 20, but treble 19s and treble 18s is easily, easily one of his favorites right now. Simon with crucial darts after nine, leaving 120. We've just seen him before he take out 120. Johan needs to find a treble, and he cannot. So that gives Simon six starts at 120. Comfortability in this leg now for Simon. He just needs to set it up. Or could he go back-to-back -back 120s? Simon the Saint Adams with a back-to-back -back 120 finish. Needs to slide to the left. Oh, nearly. Just, it fluttered through his mind there. All the, the newspaper headlines. Johan, no, we're close. Only on 190. Can only set it up and wait on whether Simon Adams has a mistake in his locker. Or will he take the, the 20 and go two legs ahead? Big two darts. Simon Adams knows he's in command. Two legs away from acknowledging and seeing a dream happen. Johan Kaldanes. Certainly not finding that range. Slightly tight on the first dart, but 57s has served him well today. Simon Adams will want to capitalize on every single Trevelers visit. The man's certainly doing that. It's the director of junior darts, Simon Adams from Kabecha, leading 6-4 against the young man from Hans Bayern. The young man from Hans Bayern blood in the water just like the great white shark and munches it up he is now looking to claw back and fight for his his right to be 
the World Cup in Germany in June. And the dreaded bounce out. They respond with that. 75. That leaves him 150. Simon now needs to find some, some strength here. Yeah. Simon knows he has time simply because he's got that breaker throw as well. Johan will know that it's a. Uh, he needs to leave this at least handy. Can't be making any mistakes. Needs to find something of something. Leaves him still in the hundred. Simon now with a, any two triple visit or more will put Johan under so much pressure. That's the first triple. Second triple could be coming in next to that. Right over the top and we've got an open game. Exactly, exactly to script. Simon Adams finding the 140. 80 left. 10 plus finish needed for your hand. You won't get it. He misses the treble 18. Now we're looking at 80. Another, another break of throw in favor of Simon Adams. It is looking the man dead in the eye. He needs to compose himself, find his tops to go 7 4 ahead. Can he do it? He finds the tops one leg away from experiencing an opportunity and a dream. The man from Quebec now, 7-4 ahead, has the throw. Johan Heldene is slipping up, some bounce outs. Simon Adams, it's your time to shine. And all of this beautiful broadcast is brought to you by Agency 7. Bring it to you live to your homes in every single country across the world. Johan at this point will be feeling his dream slipping away through his fingers. And Simon Adams just trying to get a choke call on an opportunity at the PDC World, Cha uh, World Cup in Germany. An absolute fantastic ambassador. Both these players. Johan obviously on the younger side. He's got a few decades on, uh, on Simon to catch up on. But it's four to Johan, seven to Simon, first to eight. Can Simon step through the doors of destiny once again? Won the last qualifier in at the World Championships. For the World Championships, now we're looking at a World Championship, a World Cup qualifier for Germany. Simon will, will know what it takes to get over the line. Will Johan know? And this is a very tough time, ladies and gentlemen, because both players all both want it. But only one can get it. Simon Adams now finding that 95. And just playing the numbers. Johan finding that that and another another crucial bounce. I think it's roughly about five or six bounce outs. And now he's searching for his darts. The man is a man is, is, is a man mountain of a frame and stands the entire the shot closed. Simon Adams knows he has time, but he also doesn't want to give Johan an opportunity to kind of find his confidence and get back into the game. 52 now it's not leaving him anything simon adams could do some damage here with some triple finding himself and that's 67 johania needs two trebles and he's not finding any of the comfort cl completely tense 148 and Simon Adams walks through the gate of destiny. Won't happen this time. Really a great opportunity here. 88 left for Simon. 116 for Johan to stay in the match. He needs to take out the 116. Does not find it. Can he find a treble? Just to leave him on double eight. He does. Simon will have potentially one match dart incoming to step through the gates of destiny. And he doesn't find the big number. 
but he finds it and he needs double 16 for the match he misses a great opportunity Johan Helden is now just looking to extend this matchup but he needs double four last start in hand he finds it and he extends it breaks back the throw 7-5 creates the drama ladies and gentlemen do not step away from your laptop screens tv tablets cell phones it is really on the edge of your seat stuff here who will be the one to cross the line simon adams missed one match dart on the 16s to book his place into the world cup of darts in june and Johan stepped up with last dart in hand, hitting the double four. Johan wrestled back the throw and throwing. Now starting solid with two treble visits and needing to find, find every treble. He knows that he can't make any mistake from here on out. He has to win every single leg. And Simon only needs one. One of the biggest and hardest legs to win is the one to win the championship. Simon only finding a 60 there and giving Johan an opportunity to set up. Simon needing to find at least a minimum of three trebles to put him anywhere close. He's definitely got the one. He needs to find another one to, on the right hand side of that treble bed and does not. So Johan here has six darts at a clear one for six. Simon is a. Uh, it seems as though Simon's biding his time and just not feeling the pressure, not pushing. And I think that we might see a massive surge as Johan Geldenes here finds the 88. Strong darts. Crowds erupts behind him. It's the man from Hans by now keeps it in one. Simon Adams has the throw and throwing for the match. He's got a date with destiny, but he has to make sure he walks through the door. Starts off with a, a meek 28. Johan will be licking his lips, but sometimes you can just be too eager about that treble 19s for Johan. Calderne saves him again. Simon Adams changing up the, the strategy now. Eight he scored. Fifty nine. Both players in the in the same vicinity. Who can land the knockout punch? Simon just not using the first dart every time, just going left to right. And that's tentative to the pressure of the winning leg knowing that one more leg one five or one that you've done so many times can get you into the world cup of darts Johan there with a ton 265 simon needs to find two trebles or might be lagging behind comfortably finding one can he repeat that and another missed aligned dart into the five gives Johan an opportunity can he throw the 171 no but he'll need to step over 95 leaves him the big fish we've seen many throw this many on the premier league stage as well we've seen luke little reeling the big fish can johan gelden is reel it in but how much pressure will he be on after this stroke can simon find it 132 johan generally 
if not hitting it, he'd have to set it up. And first dot's perfect. It is perfect. Second dot just goes under and needs to needed to shift to the 18. 98, 72 left. Simon Adams needs a moment of magic here. Ops to go for the treble 20. And now will it be 20 or 12? Goes for the 12 once the tops. It's favored him a few times in this game. But Johanna 72 to take us to a, a deciding leg. He's got the treble 20. Steps back. He is now taking his time. Understands the pressure. And also just the composure needed to take us to the last and deciding leg of this match. Jan steps up. Two darts in hand. Looking double six down the eye. He finds it with a celebration. Seven all. It is going down to the last leg. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a shootout for the final. Whoever wins the next leg goes to the World Cup. You can't script it any better. This game deserves, deserves a last leg. Johan, they're fighting back and now we're going to see how the young man composes himself and it's two darts. He finds a 180 to open up in the last leg decider. The man has got the spirit of the great white. Can Simon Adams replicate this? This would be magical. Two trebles there from Simon Adams sitting up the 180, but this is big moments here yeah, and both players really bounce out of the treble 20 how much how much impact will that last that bounce out cost but Johan Kelden is certainly switching up amazing Simon Adams needing to find the treble needing to draw all that experience he has on the of the big stage and just these years 40 year four years in darts 55 only Johan, yeah, there's another possibility of an 180. 140, begging. Another bounce out, 80 left. Could he finish on the big fish? This would be a magical moment. It is the creme de la creme shot. It is the big fish. Simon Adams left begging on 320, needs two trebles here. Well, Johan, Johan now has six darts at 170. And a date with Destiny, 170 waits. Can you find that first dart? Just under. Now he needs to have great board management. We know his 57s are great. He's got it. He's seasoned in his sights. He's fought back tremendously well. This has been a fantastic, fantastic game. Thrilling viewing. Simon Adams here needs a maximum to put pressure on. Another treble 20 will give him an opportunity. Gives him a bit of an opportunity. But Johan, yeah, two singles. Oh, give him a date of destiny. Double tops. And he steps through. Will this be the moment? <laughs> Johan Kaldenes goes to the World Cup in Germany in June. What a match. Deserved winner. As we see the replay here, yeah, Johan Kaldenes all the way from Kansby. Taking a fantastic, fantastic game of darts. Partners up with Cameron Corrales. This is ADG. This is the ACT event. It's the World, the World Cup qualifier. And your winner is Johan Heldenes.
Am I gonna? Simon Adams, the uh, runner-up of the World Cup qualifier. It was a tough, tough game. We got it all the way up to 7-5. Took it to 7-0. Just couldn't give us that last bit of Simon magic. But in the end there, you showed really what the potential you have coming with all the experience. What was it like playing a, a, a top, top-class player like Johan Geldenes in that final? So uh, you, 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 Johan and I were, were talking outside. And uh, we were complimenting each other about each other's skill. And, I, and before we, 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 we walk onto the stage, I told him, if we are both uh, capable to represent South Africa, God must decide. And I think at the end, it's a well-deserved person that, um, that won this game today. Fantastic. I think your, your, the, the work that you do behind the scenes, everybody sees it. We know that that takes a lot of your time. Uh, in Kabeka with the, with the schools and development and also your own game. But to showcase that level of ability and, and all of those things amongst the pressure, it really, it really showed me when you, when you went ahead, there was an element of, of belief that popped up when you, when you came from 4-2 behind, made it 4 all 5-4. At that point, did you feel like you had him and you could have won the game at that point? I was already in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, it's, um, it's, uh, you mentioned the work that we do. Uh, what we achieve as, as players, uh, to me, it means absolutely nothing if it just stays here on the stage. I don't say every player that achieve at this level should do what I do, uh, but uh, we, we, we almost like on our way out. And it's important that uh, we breed new players. And the way we behave as spectators, as supporters, that we support the sport uh, in, 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 in general, and, and that is what I want to take back to the community where I live. I'm not doing it for the whole South Africa yet, or for Africa yet, but we're building that, uh, 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 that, that groundwork and that we're setting that benchmark for others, for others to follow. So uh, that, is what I, that is what I bring to the game. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Saint. It's Simon Adams! <laughs> And a very spirited interview there from Simon Adams. Also, he qualified last year and knows all of the experience needed to qualify this time. But he was stopped by the great white shark of Hans Bay. It is Johan. Geldenhuis! It's the man mountain himself, ladies and gentlemen, coming through today. Johan, I've heard from a bird said that you, there, was a, there was a possibility that you weren't going to play today. Is that true? How you, was, that, was that on the cards this morning? Well, I came here in service this morning, so yeah, <laughs> I wasn't going to play. And I got Pope in Food Lovers Market while buying a smoothie. And yeah, yeah I'm standing today. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what athletes drink these days. We drink smoothies, water. Hydration of champions, but Johan, the, tell me, what was it like going ahead and seeing Simon get to seven first and having that 32 moment? What went through your mind when he missed that 32? Sure, I don't know. I'm speechless. Eh? I mean, I stood there. You can hope, you can hope for the best. Um, yeah, my darts fell when I needed to fall at the end, and yeah, it took me to the win. Tell me, um, we spoke earlier on, and I know that you don't possess a valid passport at this point in time, um, but the challenge now is to get that passport in time, get the visa in time, and then make yourself available to go to Germany to represent South Africa at the PDC World Cup in Germany. Your ability has always been one that everybody can notice. 
accolades and achievements probably escaped you simply because of your movements and all of those things. But now in the, in the ADG, you have this opportunity. What does it mean to represent your country at the grandest stage of all? Yo, I don't know. You know, I've always had the mindset of I don't like to lose on investments. I always say to myself, I come, yeah, I spend this amount of money. I need to win this amount of money. And today I put everything aside and I said, you know what? Today you play for yourself. You don't worry about that. You just focus on yourself. Play your ability of darts. And yeah, it paid off. I'm, I'm proud of the performance I did today. I think lastly from me, I mean, seven all, Simon Adams needing to... to, to to obviously must to give you an opportunity at seven all, but coming back and and that just shows the composure, the maturity, and the skill ability that you had. For seven all, great biggest game probably of your career so far. And you start off 180. At that point in time, have you booked your ticket to Germany already? No, not at all. Um, <laughs> I've learned the hard way. 180s don't win games. Um, I threw the 180. I got a 180 lead, Simon replied 140, perfect example, 180 is no win the game. You throw opening chuck 180, you need to follow with a ton at least. Um, so yeah, that was my mindset, open with the 180, it gave me a nice booster, but the job wasn't done, the double so had to be thrown. I think, I think with everything said and done, you've won today's competition, but we do know that you have a partner called Cameron Carolison. Are you great friends with him? Do you know him? Do you, do you like him? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, we've grown up as youth, played from a young age. Um, um, I think the World Cup has something to be worried about. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a confident man. It's Johan Keldenes. He's your champion today. He'll be going to Germany with Cameron Corralison. He'll be going with Cameron Corralison to the German World Cup of Darts, PBC. It's, it's one of the youngest pairings so far, and it's really a fantastic, fantastic opportunity to have these two youngsters play together and represent South Africa at the very highest stage. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Team South Africa! Also, we just want to say thank you to everybody that stayed around, made, gave us the, gave us the atmosphere these two play, these players deserved, Simon Adams and Johan Kaldanis, but everybody else that played on stage all through the weekend, well done. Everybody that stayed around, supported. We will be going to, we, the, next, the next destination will be confirmed. But thank you very much, everybody that traveled from far, the Kenyan players, I know most of them are on their way, but Thank you, thank you, thank you. The ADG is growing. We're changing the future of the sport. And you are witnessing history unfold in front of your very eyes. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody safe home. See you soon. We love you and good night.